This is a We Teach History video tutorial of Mr O'Connor. Hitler's foreign policy, the remilitarization of the Rhineland, 1936. Under the terms of the Treaty of Versailles, the Rhineland was not allowed to have any German military troops in it. It was demilitarized. The reason for this is because the zone of the Rhineland bordered France, so the French didn't want German troops on their border. However, in 1936, Hitler took a gamble and decided to send troops into the region. This meant that he was actually challenging, changing the terms of the Treaty of Versailles. So this was a direct aim of his foreign policy. Here's where the Rhineland district is. It's an industrial area bordering on France and Germany. And in 1936, Hitler simply sent in troops, just to not to occupy the region because it was already inside Germany, but to make a symbolic effort of going in there to test whether the French and the British would do anything. Here's a quote where Hitler says it was the most nerve-wracking time of his life because if the French had put up any resistance, Germany was ill-equipped to actually do anything about that. So Britain and France, if they protested, could have stopped Hitler at this point here. So Hitler has actually managed to change the Treaty of Versailles, but he's also tested Britain and France's resolve and found them lacking in the attempt to actually stop him. So this encouraged him even further in later years. So this should be seen as a pivotal moment in Hitler's foreign policy.